So let's get one thing straight. Nobody wants to undergo a lung surgery. But if you do need a lung surgery, wouldn't you want the best technology and technique? Hi, my name is Dr. Kamran Ali and I'm a principal consultant in thoracic surgery and lung transplantation at Max Super Specialty Hospital, Saket, New Delhi. And today I would like to, to introduce you to the world of robotic lung surgery. So old school thoracic surgery or traditional thoracic surgery used to be big ugly incisions on the chest, rib spreading which led to fractures of ribs, poor cosmesis, a lot of blood loss, pain for weeks and a long hospital stay. Enters robotic lung surgery and now the incisions are very tiny and very strategically placed with excellent cosmesis. There's minimal blood loss, there are no rib fractures, there's no rib spreading. There is early discharge from the hospital and early return to work. So in robotic lung surgery, a surgical robot is docked on the patient's chest, left or right side, and the surgeon sits on a robotic console which is at a small distance from the patient's side. A camera and a specialized robotic arms are placed inside the patient's chest and very complex maneuvers are performed very skillfully with minimal tremors and excellent outcomes. So what all surgeries can be done through the robot in the chest? So we can do robotic lung surgeries like removing part of the lobe called lobectomy, removing the entire lung called pneumonectomy or removing a very small segment of the lung called segmentectomy. We can do robotic esophageal surgeries, which means surgeries on the food pipe, which may include cancers or benign esophageal disorders. So if lung surgery is ever on the table, make sure robotics is in the conversation. <laughs>